Hey guys, it's Monster. Welcome back to my channel. So today, or tonight, I am here with my May beauty favorites. It is now June. OMG, that is my birthday month. I'm gonna be turning really old. I'm just kidding. I'm turning 26 on the 9th. And we moved the next day, so June is a, such a big month for me. And it's so crazy that June is already here. Can you believe this year is halfway over already? Like, what? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm here with my favorites. I have a ton of favorites. Brushes, makeup, that's it, but it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to just get the brushes out of the way. I quickly wanted to mention that I did start vlogging again. So if you want to subscribe or at least check out my vlog channel, I will have a link to it down below. I would love it. I love vlogging. I'm so happy that I'm vlogging again. And I will be getting an actual vlogging camera very soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, the only reason I wasn't vlogging as much is because, you know, your phone runs out of memory so quick. And I can't just constantly be importing footage during the day. So, um, yeah, when I get a vlogging camera, it'll be even better vlogs. So, anyways, <laughs> let's just jump into my favorites. So, the tools that I've been, like, obsessed with, I mean, along with my other ones that I use all the time. Um, I have a few of these that I love because of like clients and stuff. My Real Technique sponges, I've been using them for like two or three years now and I'm starting to get like rips in them and I want to eventually have just like just beauty blenders and Sigma blenders for my kit but in the meantime I needed something you know different and I wanted to get something different than a Real Technique sponge and Ulta just came out with these ones right here and oh my god it's two of them for like ten dollars and eighty cents I think and they are so soft, so fat and squishy and bouncy. They're just so comfortable feeling like, oh, I just love how this feels. I think I like it better. It feels more sturdy than the Beauty Blender. I like it better than Beauty Blender. I'm just going to say it right there. So I like this. I don't like it better than my Sigma sponge, only because I like the shape of my Sigma sponge and like the places I can grip it. Um, but this is right there next to my Sigma sponge. So I've been loving these Ulta Beauty sponges so much. They're so inexpensive. They're cheaper than the Real Technique ones. And I, so yeah, I'll have a link to these down below. They are so worth, actually they're really not that much money, but they are so worth it. I didn't use them like a limited two, but this is the Morphe M512. This is so good for contouring. So this really reminds me of like the density of like my NARS Eda brush. So like, you know, those like thin, like one inch brushes that people use for contouring. I feel like this is that, but in like a round brush. It's so good for getting right in here when I want a really precise contour. So like I'll use this and I'll take like a big tulip brush and I'll blend it out so that it's more, you know, diffused. But initially I'll go in with this and this is so good for all my clients because I do a lot of clients that have smaller faces and this is a smaller brush and it still works just as good for people with larger areas to work with because it's just so precise and I just love how dense it is but with the blendability I'm not a big fan of like the shedding that happens with Morphe brushes but they get the job done they're inexpensive I get them every single month so I'm not going to complain too much but I have been loving just the shape and density of this brush for contouring and once again this is the Morphe M512 and it's just like that. The next one is also for contouring but this is for cream contouring. This is the Morphe G33 and I love this. I haven't used it myself at all but this is so good for clients because it's so packed and this is I would not use this for powders at all like ever. I can't imagine anytime I would use it for powders. This is just perfect for creams so because it just lays it in there nicely and it has a long straight edge on here and a shorter diagonal one here and so it's like the shape of like an isosceles oh yeah I'm remembering my math an isosceles a triangle um and I like it a lot I just place the cream here and I also like it for nose contouring because it has like a shorter edge it's really good for here it's just good for any sort of cream contouring it, it's absolutely great and I love it a lot. Once again, this is the Morphe G33. And by the way, the Gunmetal collection is my favorite collection. Aside from Rose Gold from Morphe, they, I'd say the Gunmetal collection is the most durable and to me the most luxury and just sturdy feeling. So I really like the Gunmetal collection. If you're not a big fan of Morphe but you want more inexpensive brushes, get the Gunmetal collection. It is so good. All right, this one is so random, I know, but I have like 10 of these now. These are, this is the e.l.f. just spoolie. Um, 
I just realized, like, in my kit, like, how often I'm, like, uh, I, I needed a spoolie when I wasn't doing their eyebrows. And I was like, you know what, why don't I just own a spoolie? So I went over to the elf section inside Walmart and I picked up just two of them just to try it out. And then I used it on a couple of clients and I was like, oh my goodness. Cause I use this to comb out brows. Like if someone's mascara is looking a little too clumpy, I'll use it for that. Or if I'm doing a pomade on myself or a pomade on someone, like pomades don't really come with a spoolie. I'll use it when I use pomade, you know what I'm saying? So that I don't have to like dirty up my, um, you know, my Anastasia Brow Wiz ones, it has like this spoolie. I don't dirty that up with, with pomade and start mixing everything. So this is really good when I'm using pomades or fixing someone's mascara. And they're only dolls are, they're so handy. So I just went and bought a bunch of them because like if I end up using it to where it just gets all bent, I'll just toss it. So I really like these little spoolies from e.l.f. and I would not go and get like an expensive spoolie because I need a dollar and once I use it up, I'll just get another one for a dollar. So yeah, I really like this one a lot. And this one is amazing. This is another one from the Gunmetal Collection. This is the Morphe G1. And this is a really small brush. Like if I showed you my other foundation brush, this is like half the size of a regular foundation brush. And I love it for foundation. I'll show you the foundation I love pairing it with in a second here. But this has been my new go my new go to for foundation. I haven't used a big brush in a little bit. I've been really liking this because it's really precise. I can get really nice even coverage, and I really get into my fine lines with this. I really do like my Morphe M439, but I feel like I can like skip over a place because it's so big. I'm like, oh, I can do this quickly, and then I might like skip something. Um, you do need a little bit more time when you're using a small brush, of course, because it doesn't cover as much area. But the finish you get with this brush is beautiful. I highly recommend testing this out for like foundation. Once again, this is the Morphe G1 right here, and I love it a lot. Before I talk about foundation, the foundations, I want to talk to you about some primers. This one, I'm not going to jump too much into it because I discussed it last month in my favorites, but this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Still using it, still obsessed with it. I use this almost every single day. I love it so freaking much. So I'm not going to say too much about it, but it gives a really nice luminous look and my skin is so smooth after it. I know that if you have oily skin, you are not going to like this at all, but I have normal skin, very normal skin. I love this. If you have dry skin, you're going to love this. If you have normal skin, you're, if you're, you're going to love this. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend it. But um, yeah, I've really been liking this a lot for two months now. So that just shows you it's a big winner. And then the other one, not really for myself, I've only used it on myself once, but I don't really need it. But this is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. This is a really good primer. I feel like this is a primer for everyone. It has all the color correcting, so it has like the pink, the green, and lavender. Lavender help or lavender purple helps with you know dull looking skin, green combats redness, and then the peach combats darkness. And this gives you a really nice even base. So like I use this on every single one of my clients. I've done oily clients, I've done dry clients. I've done normal and none of them have complained. They've all said, oh my gosh, you know what products are you using? My makeup lasts all day long and your skin gets nice and tacky after you put this on and then it really makes the foundation adhere to the skin and it really balances everything out. I mean, it doesn't fully color correct, but it gives you a really nice base so that you don't have to do as much color correcting later on. So this is a really good foundation. My only only little thing with it, you know, because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like how quickly I go through this. I've used this... Like, I see it, like, it, I can, how should I describe this? When I pump it, like, it goes up, but it's a visible difference how much it goes up when I just use it once. So I'm probably going to have to repurchase this more. Like, I'm doing a wedding tomorrow, and I'm probably going to go, like, all the way, almost halfway gone on this by the end of tomorrow. So, and I'm doing, like, 12 people. So, yeah, that's my only issue with it, is I feel like I'm going to go through this really quickly, but it's so good. I'm going to talk about this one. <laughs> I'm going to become a basic bitch and talk about the same foundation that everyone else is talking about because you know what? It's just bomb. This is the Dior Skin. The, the Dior. The, 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 the. This is the Dior Forever Skin. Uh, perfect makeup, everlasting wear, poor refining effect with sunscreen. It has SPF 35 with shine control. This is the Dior Skin Forever. And it's bomb. I'm in the shade um, something linen. I think I'm just in the shade linen. Um, I think it's number 021 though. So shade 021 linen. And it is a perfect match. This foundation is perfect. 
like my skin looks beautiful from morning to night it's amazing it's so good for so many different skin types all I've heard is so many good things about it my skin looks amazing my, I can't say it enough my skin feels so soft like a baby's bottom it's it's so good it's I'd say a natural finish it's not dewy it's not matte it's like right there and at least on my skin it just looks so good and I love using it like with this brush I've used this with other brushes and I like it best with the morphe in g1 such good coverage amazing finish lasts all day it's amazing now that I've been using a lot more I'm gonna talk about it this is the cover FX natural finish oil free foundation oh my god so maybe I did talk about this last month I can't remember but point is like I could forget to wear primer with this and my skin still looks amazing like it lasts longer with primer but I'm not a creasy mess an hour later like I think so I forgot to wear primer with this like three times and it wasn't until like the fourth out fourth or fifth hour that I look I'm like something looks a little off I mean I can go four or five hours of wearing this without primer and not even realize it. That's how good it is. Really good finish. I'm the shade Neutral 25. Um, it's a squeezy tube, so it's super, super sanitary. I think this is a really good thing that someone, that I can maybe incorporate in my kit later on. It is pretty pricey. I think it's like $38. I got it for like $32 because I get it from the Nola Terry PX, so everything's cheaper there. It's like 30, it's a little pricey, and I don't know. I like it a lot, though. It's so worth it. Looks so good on the skin. Um, natural finish. It's not dewy, not matte. It's right in between, just like the Dior Skin Forever. Yeah, so I like this one a lot as well. And then the last one, I'm not going to go too much into depth with it because I want to do a whole dedicated video to this brand. But I'm just going to quickly mention the um, new Koki Professional. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's Koki Professional. Um, foundation. This is the new brand at Walmart. This is the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's it's really good. It does oxidize a little bit, so I highly recommend going like half a shade lighter. Um, they don't have a huge shade range. I mean, it's pretty decent, but it's not like you know L'Oreal or Maybelline. They don't have a huge shade range, but um, I was able to find my shade, and I'm in shade 20 Warm or 20 W. Um, and it matches me pretty darn well. I'd say it starts oxidizing um, to its full darkness after about like four hours. Um, but it wasn't bad enough to where I was like, oh my god, there's a huge difference. But I just did notice a little oxidizing. Really good finish though. I like how it looks on my skin. It makes my skin look really smooth. It doesn't set all my fine lines. I mean, everything does eventually, but I'm saying like initially, it doesn't really set all my fine lines. I want to talk to you guys about a facial spray. And I would say this is a dupe. For back fix plus I know it's green but um, it's essentially like an elaborate water this has alloy cucumber and green tea and I've been using this in place of Mac fix plus I have my Mac fix plus permanently in my kit I'm just too lazy to take it out and I don't know so I have this I got it for like seven dollars and I don't it's it's the same thing to me like it gives me a dewy finish when I set my face with it um, it makes my shimmery shadows more pigmented and more foil looking it's really good and I love how it smells mm. this is by Mario Badescu, Badescu um, skincare and I love how it smells I already said that really really bomb and this was I got it for seven dollars this is a full size um, but it's technically 14 I got it off the like 21 days of beauty so I got 50% off you can get the travel size one for like seven dollars but full size is 14 which is still a lot better than the 24 dollars for Mac fix plus so if you want Mac fix plus but you don't want to splurge and get this one it's just as good first one I wanted to mention is something I've talked to you guys about before but it's still continuously a favorite of mine this is the real her playbook shadow palette this is palette number two and the style of the palette is do your squats this is that company where they donate 20% of the proceeds to a foundation that benefits women I can't remember the exact name of the foundation at this moment in time I will tell you guys down below um, and I'll also have a link to the website. I love their stuff so much. You guys can probably see them in that video, but I'm going to do a couple of swatches for you of some of the matte shades and the shimmery shades. I'm going to go show you this shade, Dedicated and Determined. These are like satin ones, so they're, they're not fully, like they're not supposed to be like super glittery, but they're really, really, really pigmented. I love these two so much for all over the lid. And then I will show you Dreams and Beloved which are my two favorites to go in my crease. Just those right there. So it's really pigmented and it's just so good. I love this thing so much. 
perfect size, perfect for travel. Their moisturizing lipsticks are my favorite of all time. I'm going to talk about one of those in a second here. I already talked to you about it, but I love them so much, I gotta talk about it again. Um, yeah, this eyeshadow palette, first off, I mean, it has a really, really good mirror. This is really good for traveling. And you have nine shades right here. You have a all over the lid shade, you have some blending shades, some transition shades, or you have some transition shades, you have some definition shades, you have some shimmery shades, and you have a glittery shade right here. And it's, you know, warm browns. Of course I'm going to love it. Really pigmented. I've been using this all the time. Like, if I'm just getting ready in the morning, I grab this palette. You know, we are staying in someone else's house right now, so I don't have my whole collection with me. So I just pick my favorite things I have with me, and this was one of those. Um, so I love this thing so much. I do have a coupon code for them for 10% off. I think it's just, I think it's just Modesty Jean. I will have that down below as well. So you can get, uh, 10% off and then don't forget 20% of the proceeds go to help benefit women. So if you want to check that out, I will have this down below as well. I will also link down the video where I did a makeup tutorial with this, which I do need to do another one with this because I love it so much. It's my bye bye. And it's just so compact. All right, moving on. To, <coughs> I'm sorry, this is the new, not new anymore, but they came out like late last year. This is the Morphe 25A and 25B. This this is the, I think like the bronze and like the golden one or whatever. They're very, very similar. One's more bronzy, one's more golden. I tend to gravitate towards this golden one a little bit more. The, chap the, the packaging is really, really cheap. Uh, reminds me of BH Cosmetics just with like the clear top. And like this but the shadows inside are you know really what's important I mean packaging is kind of a big deal but sometimes kind of not you know what I'm saying like it's pretty to look at I do like that I can see the shadows that does make it really easy for me but it just it reminds me of cheap packaging but about the shadows I mean warm shadow warm browns and duh I'm using this one right here today this is a really good one this is a go-to as well well these two I'm just grabbing this one because this is the one I use the most but I love both of these. I'm just going to put this one down. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these are really, really good. I use these on my friend. I've been using these on clients. I, of course, sanitize people. But um, yeah, these, it's really, really pigmented. It's just like the 350 if, with pigmentation. Like, that is sickening. Um, let me show you. And I'm like barely touching it here, which just shows that they do crumble easily, but they're really pigmented. So, you know, I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Whatever. Um, you know, you get what you pay for it. I think these, I got these as a bundle for like $33 for both of them. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll, if the bundle is still available, I'll put it down below. But yeah, I've really been enjoying these. They're technically limited edition, but y'all know that drama where things are limited edition when they're really not. So, you know what, you can probably purchase it. So I'm gonna put it down below. But yeah, I've been loving these as well. All right. Dun, dun, dun. I only have one highlighter to talk about, but this highlighter is bomb. So this is the new, I think it's new, this is the Milani Stro uh, Strobe Light in the shade Sun Glow. It really reminds me of um, Becca Cosmetics Prosecco Pop, the one that Jaclyn Hill originally did. <sighs> it's just like true gold. Can you guys see that? Like, like can you guys see that at all? It's so pretty. Super, super, super gorgeous. Um, this is what it looks like right here. I love Milani's packaging. It's very chic looking. It's super pretty. It has like the gold with a clear top. I'm just gonna swatch it one more time because I love it. But yeah, so I've really been loving this highlighter. This is the one I'm wearing today. I only wore this a few times. I was like, yep, I'm keeping that in my kit. It's so good, you guys. I think I got mine for like $8. I will have that link down below, but you can just pick it up at your local drugstore. All right, and now for the lip products. So I'm gonna talk about the Real Her one really quickly, cause you know, we're on that topic, kind of. This is the Real Her, Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick. So I really like their lip, 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 I really like their liquid lipsticks. It's one of my favorite formulas. Um, and, but then I tried out their regular lipsticks and I like these better. I'm kind of like growing away from liquid lipsticks. Like I still use them, but I don't use them every day anymore. Like now I use regular lipsticks more because they're just so comfortable and they're so easy. Like they're, like you have to reapply them, but in a way it's like you don't have to worry as much because there's a little bit more wiggle room and they're more comfortable, they're not drying, especially these. And first off, the packaging is so dope. You have this square with, 
you know, a color block. You got white and you got black. And it says real her, right her, right her. It says real here, right, wait, <laughs> see? It says real her right here. And then it has the name of the shade, which the shade names and like the names of like the palettes and everything for this company is so good. So this is I Love Myself and everything is supposed to be positive and empowering. Like even do your squats, you know, you see all those, you know, you know point is, you know, do your squats is supposed to be very empowering because, you know, fitness, it makes you strong, you, you get it. So this one is I Love Myself and, you know, there are some names that are like I Am The Storm. It's just I love the names of their, their products. But about this, it is literally the perfect nude. And I said that last night I talked about it, and I'm going to say it again because it really is. This is the lipstick that I keep in my purse. I wear it every single day at some point in the day. So, like, say I put on another lipstick. Like, I was wearing this lipstick earlier today before I did this. And I literally wear this lipstick every day at some point. Because it's the perfect nude. It's the perfect balance between pink and peach. It's right there. It's so Beautiful. So if you are a fair to medium skin tone, it is the perfect nude. It's bomb. And I also, like I said, I have a coupon code. Put it down below if you're curious. I highly recommend, if you're not a liquid lipstick person, check out their lipsticks. They're so good. They also have lip liners now, just so you know. And I think they sell everything in like lip kits or whatever, but yeah, you can check it out. Now on to the Coke Cosmetics one. Oh my god, I just realized all the liquid lipsticks, or all the lipsticks I'm showing you, except for that one. Are like basically the same color. So this is the Koki Cosmetic Lip, the Lip Powder Liquid Matte Powder. So basically, this is supposed to be kind of like a lip, liquid lipstick, but it's not supposed to be as drying. So it's supposed to dry, and then it's supposed to feel like a regular matte lipstick. So it's not supposed to be like fully like smooch proof, blah blah blah. But you know, like if you buy a matte lipstick, you know, actual tube lipstick, and then put it on, and then um then it's supposed to feel like, it's th that's what it's supposed to feel like. So every time I wear this, it doesn't fully dry down, but it's matte. Um, it's kind of kiss proof, but it's not 100% kiss proof. But here is the shade right here. This shade name is Infamous, and it's so pretty. It's like a rosy nude, very similar to Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. So there's that one. And then here is a liquid cat suit. I'm going to talk about this one again. I'm going to keep talking about this. This is probably the fourth favorites video I've talked about this in now that I think about it. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Give Me Mocha. I'm wearing it right now. This is like a brownish rose. Just right there. It's, it's so good. I love this one so much. And then also another one very similar, Lolita. This is a little bit patchy, but I love this shade. And it's like, honestly, if um, the first two had a baby, that's the shade right there. Um, this is like a rosy brownish pink. It's so pretty. It has like a purple undertone with a brown undertone. I love it a lot. I was wearing this a couple days ago. The, it's actually very similar to Gimme Mocha. Just Gimme Mocha has a little bit more reddish brown in it. All right, guys. So that's it for my May Beauty favorites. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what your favorites are or what you have been liking. I don't have any product disappointments because, you know, I've been very picky about what I've been buying. And on top of that, you know, I only kept my favorite things with me. So it's kind of hard to have like a disappointment. So yeah, those are all my favorites. I have a ton of favorites. I know it was a lot, but I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if you agree with me on some of these products and let me know any products that I should try out. I love knowing other people's favorites so I can go test it out. Um, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up and comment down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and you want to keep watching me. And also, even if you're subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that little bell. I'm missing so many of the people that I'm subscribed to because I didn't hit that little bell because YouTube decided to like not notify people. So now I'm like hitting the bell on everyone I'm subscribed to just so I get their notification. I know, I'm a weirdo. But yeah, so if you hit that bell, then you will definitely not miss my videos. Um, but I think that's everything, so I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.